This is the Agribusiness Report. I'm Tony St. James, and we're joined today by the Honorable Troy Balderson. He represents the 12th Congressional District of Ohio, member of the House Ag Committee, also the Transportation and Infrastructure Committees, and a busy time right now on Capitol Hill. It, it is, and, and good morning, Tony, and thank you for having me here. But um, yeah, we're running pretty hard already this morning, but uh, you know, we're getting after it. Let's talk about uh, an issue that really has, has maybe the bright light is shining on it now that we've gone to so many Zoom type meetings, and that's the problems with rural broadband. Do you see those? I see those um, every day, and we get constituents calls every day. We get emails every day um, regarding that. that. That is something that we've been dealing with in the state legislature where I served uh, in the state legislature also. You bring up something that, you know, with this pandemic, there have been some things that um, have shined through, unfortunately, with this. But, you know, one of those is um, there's something else we're engaged in is, is telehealth and you know being able to access that and allow people to do that but when we go in the district and when we have our ag advisory committee uh in the district i mean that's one of the top three issues that we talk about and it's the lack of and the connectivity that issues that people have and you know so many farmers are operating their business over the internet now and, and their sales and everything so it's i think we're going in the right direction i want to see us continue to go in the right direction we're going to you know, continue to work hard to make sure it goes the right direction, make sure there's infrastructure in place um, as, as we deal with that issue. Is it uh, an issue of we can throw a lot of money at it and solve it, or does it take a, a real surgical approach to solving this across the country? It, 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 it's surgical. I mean, it's just not a, you can't just throw money at it. I mean, and sometimes it, the government has a tendency to just throw money at everything, and that's not the correct way to do it. Um, you know, we've got to look at this and look at the, you know, the challenges that are out there. And, and you know, in the region of my home county that I live in, I mean, it's about the infrastructure and the, and the lack of infrastructure. So, I mean, I think we need to focus on, yes, some money, but also focus on, you know, where that last mile is, that last two mile um, of services and working with those constituents. and. Um, you know, we need their input too, and, and they need to be engaged in that. And I, you know, I, I talk to constituents, and they say, "Look, Troy, I, I would, I pay seventy-nine dollars a month now for for broadband. I hardly get it. I'll pay one hundred and fifty dollars, one hundred seventy-five dollars if I know that it's going to be there and it's going to be reliable. Um, and we need to, you know, make sure that that message gets out there." You mentioned the importance of that last mile, if you will, and maybe that's a good segue to. H.R. 2486, and that's the Haulers of Ag and Livestock Safety Act. We're not talking about broadband, but we are talking about roads here and, and, and transport. What is that? Um, it, it, it's, it's a time frame, a time allotment that, that our haulers have. And, um, you know, during this pandemic, again, th this is something that, you know, was an issue um, for, for what time there would be on the road. And, and you know, that organization, our haulers, stood up in, in this pandemic and, and for the last year and a half. They, they have stood tall. They have been consistent. They have gone uh, on, on a daily basis doing what we need to do. If I go to my you know, local sale barn, which, which I do go to our local sale barn on Wednesday mornings at, at 730, but there's no better you know, information I can get. And I actually had breakfast with one of the haulers there. Uh, and when we talk about this issue and the importance and look, they're going to do the right thing. We, we just need to make sure um, that, you know, let them make the judgment and the decisions that they need to make and, and how we go about doing this. And um, I, I think there, there's a path for this bill. We did pass the out of committee last week uh, out of the transportation infrastructure bill, uh, some infrastructure language. This didn't actually make it in there, but. Um, you know, we're going to continue to, to work hard on this and, and make sure because it is such a big part of this congressional district. So good to see you. Thanks for the work you're doing. And we good to see wish you, as well. you a lot of success throughout the rest of this session. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Again, it's the Honorable Troy Balderson representing the 12th Congressional District of Ohio on today's Agribusiness Report.